what's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you yet another brand new video and uh, before you guys start firing off in the comment section, uh, the reason why I sound the way I sound, it is not an audio issue. I am a little sick right now, just a little congested, uh, nose is a little hammered right now. Um, and of course, right before the holidays, but I, I know with a lot of people off, I did want to get uh, a, a video out to you guys uh, before all the holiday madness uh, that's going to ensue in the next couple days. But we did have a very fun uh, midweek matchup, a random spin, uh, Fortune Steel taking on 1001 Templars. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this clan is a combination between 1001 Crew and Reddit Templars. Let me know uh, down below if that is in fact true. But we did walk away with the victory, 109 to 107, and we did do a half dip war uh, where 50% of the Town Hall 11 attacks went to 11 the 11 attempts, and the other half went towards dip. So kind of a, a unique war that we did here. Uh, but FFS, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and play. I do not want this video to get too long. I did want to start off with this Town Hall 9 attack. You know, I gotta show at least one Town Hall 9 attack in the videos. You guys know. Um, I have a slobbering love affair with Town Hall 9. Uh, okay, Forge from Steel. Forge from Steel in this war, picking up um, a very, very impressive 9 Town Hall 10 3 stars. Uh, 9 10 v 10 3 stars. Uh, we had 1001 Templars picking up 3 10 v 10 3 stars. Um, one thing I want to give a special, special shout out uh, to 1001 Templars. These guys had as many 11 v 11 triples as they did 10 v 10 triples, meaning they had three 11 v 11 uh, three stars this war. Uh, so huge, huge props to them. Huge props um, to Lunchbox. Dude picking up an 11 v 11 three star. The first one we've had in quite some time. I, I believe Rudy got the last. 11 v 11 three star back in week no it's actually the pre-war uh to the ccl was the last 11 v 11 three star i've seen uh in forge from steel uh so looking very very bright on the horizons for ffs again picking up nine uh from what i'm seeing from other clans uh of some stats from war match people that have hit me up uh what i've seen on youtube um i mean clans right now even post update are kind of averaging around I'd say three to five I'd say three to five 10 v 10 three stars which is still higher than what it was pre-update uh, but we got some magic going on uh, since Fortune Steel and Dark Avengers uh, combined the best of the best uh, from each clan uh, we definitely have something magical going on um, and I, I don't want you guys to be saying oh you know you're jinxing it this and that I'm just going off of the stats straight up from the last two wars I mean who knows how it's going to be um, from here on out. But just from the last two wars, from the last two wars, we have had a combined 20 10 v 10 three stars. And I'm sure the meta, you know, the base meta is going to be changing as time goes on. We are still seeing, you know, some some more, uh, sing, you know, single shot Inferno Towers bases changing a little bit. Um, but again, huge shout out uh, to Fortune Steel. Picking up uh, uh, nine Town Hall 10 three stars. Of course, I cannot show you guys every single one of them. This video would be an hour long if I did that. But we did have three guys who got 10 v 10 six packs. So I'll show you one attack uh, each of theirs. I had a 10 v 10 this war. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and skip mine. I'm going to show love to a couple other people. Uh, but we had Zongo with his 10v10 right there. Chimo, I'll show, this was their, their, their Town Hall 10s went down to 24. Uh, I'll show you uh, Chimo's hit on one of the heavier Town Hall 10s. I went ahead and took out number 22. That one was actually with Dragons. Um, we had Turbo, who actually did a minor attack. I'll show you guys this one. Um, well, actually, fuck man, these videos, they're just gonna be so long now. Before, if you had a 10v10, it was like a guaranteed, I mean, it was guaranteed you're gonna be in a video. But I mean, when you're picking up you know, 9, 10 v 10, 3 stars, 11, 10 v 10, 3 stars. You cannot show all of them. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to time this one too. Uh, queen walk uh, minor attack. Uh, one thing I did like, or one of the few things I did like, other than the clan games, uh, I'll do a different video on that, but other than the clan games, the other thing that I liked about this update 
as there has been a lot of griping with everything else. One thing I did like about it uh, that Supercell did is they went ahead and kind of Murph, uh, Murph, kind of nerf the miners, <laughs> Murph, uh, kind of nerf the miners a little bit when they used to be pre-update. They were five camp space and now they're six. So Supercell trying to do their best to not make Town Hall 10 quite as spammy because um, they knew they knew uh, nerfing the Inferno Towers were gonna bring more 10v10 three stars on, uh, on onto the field. Um, so making it so you know miners obviously being a pretty spammy troop, uh, making it six camp space um, as opposed to five. I did enjoy how they did that beautiful beautiful hit uh, Queen Walk. He did have a little uh, King Bowler. Um, walk from 3 to 6 had the queen from uh, 12 to 9 miners up the middle absolutely loved it and we do it we, that was the first minor attack I've seen uh, post update you know at, at least um, you know in, in other videos and in clans we've ward and um, us ourselves that was the first one I've seen so really, really liked how, how turbo went ahead and broke that base down that was a dip uh, that was a dip that was a dip uh, we had Luke. Okay, we'll go ahead. I'm going to show you guys this hit, number 16 uh, from Luke. Going to be doing a Queen Charge um, Hog Attack, a.k.a. Queen Ho, uh, where he's going to be dropping down these minions on these pumps right here, uh, just out of range of these air targeting defenses. And you'll see he's doing that um, in order to make sure, funneling his Queen to make sure she goes the right way, going to take advantage uh, of these archer towers all in a line right here that wizard tower and again I'll show you guys in this attack uh, why this attack works now and why it wouldn't have worked before um, so you'll see right there clearly you know which way his queen's gonna be going really really set the show up nicely uh, with just those minions and that archer uh, to set the show up for the queen king and a wizard just a, the tiniest uh, kiwi walk that you can get a king and two wizards and you'll see right here look at the beam right here on the queen uh pre-update he would have had to drop uh, or pop that ability right about now even even okay guys even with the hound beating on that queen uh or, or with that queen being extracted by that hound look at the queen's health guys look at the queen's health look at it completely full gonna drop down another rage uh, to push her through. Uh, she can be taking on this mini Tesla farm. Beautiful, beautiful double air wall break. Uh, queen on queen action. His queen uh, is going to win that battle. And he's going to be charging into both these Expos, which also got nerfed, and this Archer Tower. Um, so you'll see right here, did drop one hog uh, just to detonate if there was going to be any traps right there. So here comes the Calvary. Uh, gonna be dropping down his CC hogs on that mortar uh, over there at about 10 o'clock and you'll see here comes uh, the hogs once that inferno tower goes down uh, look at the pathing for these hogs beautiful beautiful pathing straight from 9 down to 6 o'clock uh, with two heal spells and you'll see another mini Tesla farm uh, in between those two wizard towers but under heal uh, not gonna do anything uh, to this huge group of hogs that he has and you'll see queen is still up king on the back end uh, but You can see that queen is gonna start chipping away at her and He does have a nice heal spell on the back end uh, for that king baby dragon uh, Not only to help with the king uh, But to help with some cleanup as well beautiful beautiful queen ho uh, From Luke right there And that's what he did on his other attack as well getting that six pack uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys a couple more uh, 10v10 three stars um, right here. Kill squads. Kill squads right now. Uh, we'll take a look at one more of these attacks. Uh, but kill squads right now, guys, at Town Hall 10 are just completely smashing bases right now. Uh, he's going to be bringing a Max Gollum in the clan cow. He's going to be suing his queen up here at 12 o'clock. Uh, not only to help with the kill squad, um, but it's going to be breaking that defensive ring. Uh, he's going to take out um, uh, that Tesla. He's going to get that Archer Tower, the Wizard Tower as well. Going to get amazing value uh, from his queen. Obviously, this, is a, this isn't a fresh hit. This is a cleanup. So we do know that there is going to be a Hound coming out of that clan castle. And again, he is bringing, look at that, just saving that ability. There it goes. And he does end up getting another Tesla. Didn't get that Wizard Tower, uh, but ends up just shy. Oh, no, he, yes, he does actually get that cannon. 
So here does he has the kill squad going. Uh, that baby dragon distracting that Tesla goes ahead and drops a couple loons on it. Uh, just a straight up CB hobo uh, bringing uh, 26 hogs going to be coming uh, to this attack. Uh, and again, he did have he doesn't have CC hogs. He did bring a uh, Max Gollum uh, to this attack. And notice he has no air targeting troops in this kill squad. Gollum going in, King going in, Bowlers going in. He's going to take out the enemy king. Uh, and he does have a poison for that loon that came out of the enemy CC. Hog starting over here on the wizard tower. And has another thick group on that cannon that came in at 230. And he still has five more hogs to deploy. There they go on that mortar. Uh, and he's going to be starting his wizards nice and early uh, to help with this cleanup. But you can clearly see the pathing um, from what his queen got up at the top. The kill squad. Again, starting his hogs and just a mini L. Uh, I mean, just beautiful pathing, uh, defensive pathing for these hogs. Uh, and they're going to end on the Inferno Tower uh, where they healed just shy. There were no giant bombs. Uh, or there was one giant bomb inside that Inferno Tower compartment. But one hog went ahead and detonated it. Uh, wouldn't have mattered. Hogs pretty much at full health. Hound doing absolutely nothing. Rock wrecking it. Very, very nice attack. Very, very active too. A uh, huge shout out to him. Um, again, I wish I could show you all these attacks, you guys, but we just had way too many. That was the other attack from Luke right there, getting that 10v10 six pack. This was the hit from Zongo uh, that I wanted to show you guys uh, that we were talking about earlier. Doing it with Queen Walk Bitch, bringing two golems. So he's going to be doing a shattered entry. Uh, and, and anytime, especially on a bitch attack, anytime where you guys can do. Um, you you can bowler bounce a you can bowler bounce a mortar definitely do it definitely do it so taking advantage right there so queen she's gonna be walking from three o'clock down to six and you'll see he's gonna have a flank up here at twelve o'clock uh, I believe that's three witches and a few bowlers uh, just to help them out and you'll see he does have that jump spell down leading everything into the first inferno tower and wait till you guys see the devastation uh that this kill squad inside uh, on this main push what these bowlers do under rage inside this core uh so right here this leading rage look at these bowlers doing absolute work inside this core and right there those bowlers can clearly reach that inferno tower from over the wall which is exactly what they're gonna do they pretty much three shot that inferno tower so Often uh, with these attacks, and especially, keep in mind guys, this is a fully maxed tier 5 Town Hall 10. Uh, on the initial entry, very strong in the cores where you're pretty much using all your uh, spells. But things often usually peter out, especially on a fully maxed Town Hall 10. But one thing you can see guys as we times 2 this, all the defenses are in range over the wall. Every last one of them. Uh, and he still has the ability as well. So even though he just has his queen left up, this base was clear, clearly smashed. Uh, that main push got everything that he wanted. Uh, ending on that Tesla had plenty of time to get that three star. And he got a uh, uh, 10v10 six back this war. Huge shout out to Zongo doing nothing but good things over here. Uh, so this is the last uh, 10v10 that we're going to show you. I'm going to show you guys that 11v11. Uh, but again, we have a shattered... Uh, hobo. I believe he does have uh, hogs that are going to be coming out of the CC. Uh, but bringing two golems to this attack, eight wizards. So we're going to have a really, really healthy funnel. Um, starting over here, uh, drops one golem down, a baby dragon, and a wizard just to help uh, trim this trash and set that funnel for those heroes. And here comes another golem with four wizards behind. Again, just trimming the trash. Uh, and setting this funnel, making sure that the troops go where he wants. Notice he didn't bring uh, wall breakers either. He's going to jump straight in. He actually brought bowlers to this attack. So he's going to be clearing this base with 25 um, camp hogs. No wall breakers jumping straight in that inferno tower. Again, it definitely exposing a, a, a nice weakness here. Taking out that inferno tower and taking out that enemy queen. And look how early he starts these hogs. Once those defenses right up here were trimmed, starting those hogs nice and early, bringing three heals. Just like we saw uh, with Rock's attack. One thing um, that I'm really noticing that's really, really, really strong right now at Town Hall 10 
is bringing a rage and a jump for your kill squad. Uh, whether you're bringing bowlers in the CC or whether you're bringing uh, Gollum in the CC and just bringing uh, your own camp bowlers uh, and bringing three heals for your hogs. Anywhere from 20 to 25 is what we're seeing or maybe 28 just depending on how many bowlers you have in your kill squad and what you want them to get. But this attack right here, probably one of the strongest attacks right now at Town Hall 10. Um, having a shattered kill squad and bringing a rage and a jump for that kill squad to get an IT and of course the enemy queen. Getting the enemy king is definitely a bonus but does not have to be necessary uh, as we saw a couple attacks this war where the king was left up bringing a baby dragon to help take care of him. Uh, a poison to slow him down so the hogs finish him off. Um, there are a few different ways. Skelly spell, there are a few different ways to do it. Uh, but you don't have to get that enemy king, but you have got to get that enemy queen uh, on this attack. Okay, we're going to go ahead and check out this 11v11 right here um, from Lunchbox. Again, it's been a while since we've had a 11v11 three-star. It's definitely been a few weeks, so I wanted to get this footage out to you guys anytime. Just like before, when, when any Town Hall 10 or any 10v10 three-star before uh, pre-update, um, you were going to be on in a video if you had a 10v10 3-star. Um, that's pretty much the case for 11v11 3-stars now. If we keep, put, I'm telling you guys, if we keep putting up these numbers, uh, getting, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 10v10 3-stars a war, which would be an absolute blessing uh, if we could get that many 10v10s every war, we will definitely not be able to show all the attacks. But 11v11s, guaranteed you're gonna make it into a video. Uh, so just a nice kill squad. Look at the value uh, that Lunchbox gets. Uh, wall breaking in, beautiful, beautiful kill squad. Pretty much taking out that entire um, lower quadrant of this base. Getting two air defenses, only two air defenses left up uh, on the field. Uh, you'll see this hound coming in nice uh, leading rage right there and unfortunately the eagle artillery did target those loons did get a couple shots off on him uh, but you'll see he ends up taking out uh, all those defenses the archer tower the wizard tower beautiful heal spell going to heal everything back up nice rage as he rages into that front tower the kill squad did not get an it but they got more than enough here it goes drops down another rage uh, those loons are still gonna be under rage as they collapse on the second and final Inferno Tower. All defenses are about to be down. He is all out of spells, but look at this huge wad of loons that he has. Wizard Tower cannot do quite enough damage to take him out, has plenty of cleanup. Uh, beautiful, beautiful hit um, from Lunchbox. Getting it done, absolutely loved it. I will go ahead and show you guys one 10 v 11. This will be the last attack, but it was a beautiful attack here on their number five. From Gotti, the 10v11 god uh, from Dark Avengers. Check out this attack, guys. He's gonna be queen walking, or excuse me, queen charging up here at 12 o'clock. Uh, just getting some free percentage with minions. Wait till you see how much percentage uh, he gets on this attack. And notice he does have CC healers uh, that he is bringing. And for those of you guys that didn't know, um, the level five expos, which are the maxed uh, expos. Um, at Town Hall 11, they do the same amount of damage as the max Town Hall 10 Expos before the update. Um, so one thing to keep in mind, again, uh, something that a lot of people, or something that a lot of, eh, one thing a lot of people aren't talking about right now, pre-update, everyone's really focused on the Inferno Towers, but one thing that's really helping out a lot of these attacks, having your queen charges or queen walks last that much longer, having your kill squads last that much longer, is the nerf to those expos. And you see Gotti walking that town hall. Uh, again, definitely exposing a weakness to this base. Walking that town hall, taking it out with his queen. And you'll see right here, he, he brought 14 baby dragons. Uh, I believe it was 14 baby dragons to this attack. So as of right now, it's just a matter of how much percent he's going to get. Clearly he's already at 50, still has five baby dragons left to deploy. Now it's just a matter of how much percent he's gonna get. And Queen's still at full health. Baby dragon be taking out that archer tower. Uh, just slowly but surely picking apart this base uh, with these baby dragons. And and again, this wait till you guys see what this ends at. 10 v 11. Ending at 73%. Huge shout out to Gotti. Uh, 10v11 master. 
uh, welcome to Forge from Steel. But that is going to wrap it for this video. This video got way, way, way too long. But I'm, I'm sorry, guys. With this many 10v10 three stars and how solid these attacks are looking, um, got to give our Town Hall 10 some love. Uh, definitely have to give 1001 Templar some love. Awesome, awesome midweek matchup. Um, it was a lot of fun warning you guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, this recap, kind of exposing some weaknesses that we're finding in these Town Hall 10s, um, especially Hogs. Make sure you guys do those in your FCs. But that's going to wrap it for this video. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure you hit that like button. Any comments, questions, or concerns in the comment section below. And, uh, so of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.